Hi, welcome to my sporting show, Count the Sports Times. If you saw the show, hit the like button and subscribe to my show. Today, we are going to talk about many important things on the sporting show today and many more. So, let's get started. Let's talk about Olympics first of all. In the Olympics, the US have managed to win 256 medals in total. That is a tremendous achievement by the US. The Chinese and the US are, are in the top two at the moment, so it's a battle. It's not only a game of Olympics and sports, it's a battle which nation is greater. So let's talk about diversity in this medal count. More than 160 plus medals have come from female athletes, while 90 to 94 medals have come from male athletes. This shows what, what has the US stands for. The US is still the greatest country in the world for a reason. This result shows you the strength and the skill of the female athletes from the US and even better than the male athletes. This kind of proves the point up front. The Chinese may got a tiny bit more medals, but the US have shown the diversity and the facts to be shown that they are the better country in terms of sports and in general. That's a fact, because sports do decide what a country is, and the Olympics is always about politics. Whether you agree with me or not, Olympics have always been about politics, so something to think about that. While, they're the, while that's not the only thing to consider, the challengers and the firsts in the Olympics are also have to be considered at this point. Uh, first transgender individual from Australia have a uh, first uh, individual person from a first transgender uh, medalist has come from Olympics uh, from Tokyo, and first uh, one other and very very important and openly LGBTQ uh, athletes have also won gold medals. Openly declared they were doing gold medals. Proving this Olympics had plenty of diversity and equal for all. That's the reality of Olympics. And the Olympics have lived up to its reputation and what it is. So congrats for all those athletes uh, who have managed to overcome their challenges in their life to accomplish their lifelong dreams. And that is my message for them. So well done. So moving on from Olympics, let's talk about uh, football. Lionel Messi. A man who never left Barcelona since 16, 17 years old. He has been in Barcelona though, as the only club he ever played uh, apart from his country, Argentina. Sad day, Lionel Messi have left Barcelona simply because they could not afford to pay for him, even after he cut his salary in half. That kind of shows you the worth and the value of Lionel Messi. He is a legend, and I think in the battle of Ronaldo and Messi, I think Messi is the better player. Disagree with me on the comment section on that. So it's a sad moment as he teared up during the press conference uh, uh, In the press conference to announce the fact he was leaving Barcelona. He showed emotion that proved this was his home for a very very long time Later on Messi and he said he will return to Barcelona He will very very soon. That's great news for him But let's talk about Lionel Messi's future while the past is done, it's the future time. He will be now playing for PSG. So he is now getting his medical tests and getting ready. And it's good to see. So PSG would be very fortunate to have someone like Lionel Messi in the team, in my belief. He's a match winner. He's the best football in the world in my book right now. And there is no question about it. So I think PSG got lucky with his purchase, to be really fair. So uh, let's hope he has a great time in PSG, uh, Lionel Messi. And let's hope he performs as he does, because he's a legend, and that should be well said. So moving on from Lionel and Messi and Olympics, now let's get to some cricket. Before cricket, let's get to actually F1 racing. Now this is not about the race, the new, the newest race, the newest race in Hungary. That about. This is about the jab Jeremy Clarkson took at Lewis Hamilton, uh, talking about the behavior of Lewis Hamilton. Now, I agree with Jeremy Clarkson the fact that Lewis Hamilton is slightly short tempered as an individual, maybe. But this is the thing about F1 racing that I think someone like Jeremy Clarkson don't, could, Jeremy don't quite understand about the fact. F1 racing is a very tense race, it's a tense event. You spend years and years, sometimes a couple of years to develop the perfect car to go into the racetrack and your opposition, someone like Max Verstappen, bullies you and by saying that the younger ones are better than the older ones and those comments intensifies you. Yes, Lewis Hamilton is an arrogant racer. Yes, he got to a fight with Max Verstappen. This is the thing about, motor, about, about sport. If you are a winner, those things can be forgiven. That's the fact. Lewis Hamilton is a winner. 
That's the reality. That has to be addressed. That had to be said. That has to be clear. He's a winner. That's the fact. Fact straight. And I think Jeremy should be proud of pr pr proud of Lewis Hamilton rather than taking jabs at him. Because Lewis Hamilton is an arrogant racer, and he has a right to be arrogant. That's the way in my belief. So moving on from that, let's get to a quick uh, quick finish on the show. Uh, one of the last things to talk about the India England Test match. India had one change. Ravi and the Ishan Sharma have come to the side. That's pretty good news to see. The tall, lanky, fast bowler. And from England's side, of course, Mark Wood has come to the team. So, great news indeed. India right now, as I'm speaking, India 57 for no wicket in 22 overs. Rohit Sharma 40 unbeaten. KL Rahul uh, 11 from 48 balls. And the English bowlers right now have no wickets to talk about. But the two most, um, two most economical bowlers right now is James Anderson and Ollie Robinson right now. So India is off to a great start at the moment. Um, let's think. So question is, can India make of 300? So how much I think will India need to make India lose this test match? Uh, they will need 424.50 in my book for the comforting zone. If you are getting 250, 240, 270, you are giving England a chance to come back in the game in my book. And the weather conditions should be also be considered. There was rain interruption. So let's see who wins. The best team may win the game. That's my general opinion. So on that note, I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for joining me on the show. Thank you very much.